Right, hello and welcome to Potion Permit. So, another game, part of the Steam Next Fest. Um, oh, it looks like we've got character customization. Interesting. Not much, but sure. Um, let's go navy blue with. Oh, is there not a red cape? Ooh. Yeah, that's reddish. It's more like a burgundy, but sure. Whatever. Name can't be changed later. Yeah, but it's a demo. Right. So this is kind of... From the looks of it, it's, we're going to be starting some kind of chemist slash pharmacy type deal thing in the middle of a fantasy town. I'm trying to remember what the name of the game or that I'm thinking of now that this is similar to. I'm thinking it called like Moonlight or something along those lines where you like raid dungeons and then create um, like a shop using the loot. Ah, excuse me. Logan, it's me, Dr. Nesta from the Medical Association. I'm on my way to meet our colleagues on Moonbury Island. The association headquarters asked me to say hello to you since we're talking, uh, since we're taking the same train. I didn't realise you were bringing your dog along. Isn't he adorable? He is, yes. They'll be called Noxium, hell no. Well, they've got goggles and everything, so I'm gonna go with. Yeah, Gizmo. Are you going to help out Log on Logan's important assignment, Gizmo? Yes, he is. We're almost there. While you're on the island, you'll be representing the Medical Association. Do you have everything in order? This is a valuable opportunity for us. If you're successful, we may finally be allowed to establish a branch on the island. Dun dun dun. Here we are, let's get going. Let's hope there isn't, you know, like an hour of dialogue f to start us off here. This is it, Moonbury Island. And here are our colleagues, uh, Moira and Colin. Hi, nice to meet you. You must be the new chemist. We've already talked to the mayor, he's waiting for you up by the town gate. The association is counting on you. And don't let her worry you. You brought along your medical journal, right? Remember to check and update it regularly. And make sure to be polite and helpful. You're, our, you're the association's representative. You'd better get going. Good luck. Okay, here we go. Do you think they'll manage on their own? Nope. <laughs> but I'm excited to see what happens. Let's head back to the capital. Yeah, so they've just kicked me off a train and ditched me here. Right, let's get started. Remember to make us lots of money while we're gone. We're not going to be paying you much of it. Love you. <laughs> Mayor. Logan, we've been expecting you. Allow me to welcome you to Moonbury. My name is Maya the Mayor. This is my wealth, uh, my wife. Marielle, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, it was me who sent that letter to the capital. Our daughter needs help. Our Roo has been feeling off colour. We've been trying to find a cure for her, but, no, but to no avail. With your help, I hope she'll get better. Oh dear. Anyway, she's currently being seen by our local witch doctor. Be some time before she returns. 
before that, I should tell you a little about uh, our previous dealings with chemists from the capital. Would you be so kind as to come with us? Before I explain everything, I'd like to introduce you to everyone. I like the walk animation on the dog. <laughs> Someone's got some swishy blue hair there. Good evening, everyone. We've come together tonight to welcome a guest. Please allow me to introduce Logan. A chemist sent by the Medical Association. As you're all aware, our daughter's been sick. My wife and I are still trying to find a cure. We've sought the assistance from Capital. Uh, give Logan a warm welcome. A chemist I see never thought I'd see another one in our town. We know you're desperate for a cure, but you want to watch who you bring in, Maya. Maya the mayor. Shiver me timbers. I have crewmates more competent than this here novice. Nobody from the capital can be trusted. Have you forgotten what they did? Now, now, won't anyone make our newcomer welcome? Please forgive us, everyone is just a little excited. Now, if you'd like to follow me, I'll show you to your lodgings. This old building used to be our previous chemist's house. Its former owner moved away a long time ago. Now that it's empty, you can take it over. It might seem rather odd to you that not everyone here is overjoyed about your presence. We have rather a history of incidents involving the Medical Association. Our relationship has been rather disastrous so far. I imagine they haven't told you a single word about all this in the capital. You'll learn more about it as you discover the island. Let's come back once you've rested, shall we? And don't forget our request. Our daughter needs your help. I'll see you tomorrow, Logan. Good night. Sleep tight. Let's go. And after only seven, nearly eight minutes of dialogue and counting, we are into possibly the tutorial. <laughs> Right. While you're running, your dog will follow you wherever you go. Right. Sadly, they're not allowed to come inside the house. You can interact with some of the obstacles around you. You will see a sign whenever you're close to any interactable objects. When you are close to multiple interactable objects, you can navigate between them. Right. You can decorate your room with the available furniture. Try to interact with the floor plan object to start decorating your room. You can acquire more furniture from the bulk and build. All newly acquired furniture will be registered here for decoration. You are not allowed to place any that may block your path between your bed and the door. Try rotating it to fit in space. Lovely, we've got a broken sofa. No lighting, it's literally pitch black in there. And a torn room. Yay! Good morning, Logan. I trust you slept well. Excellent. Allow me to introduce uh, Zhao, my assistant. Very nice to meet you. I work with Mayor Meyer at the town hall. 
I was hoping the two of you would get along. If there's anything you need, it'll assist you. As it's your first day, I'd like to I'd like you to start getting to know our island. I've asked one of our rangers to meet you near Meadow Range and show you the ropes. To get there, cross the bridge south, then head east. He also has some things prepared for you. You'd better be off. Our ranger Forest, with two R's, is waiting for you as we speak. The highlighted quest will be shown at the top right of the screen. The minimap at the top right shows the quest objective as icons. Uh, you can enlarge the map to view all the qu uh, quests available around the island. Oh, we can't walk through the bushes. Basically, we'll stick to the roads then. Go to the middle range entrance. Okay, so this will be the ranger then. Hey there, you must be the chemist. My name's Forrest. May and Maya said you'd be coming this way. I got a little something for you. Call it a welcome gift. You might need it. I have an errand for you. I want you to give me some herbs. I'm sure you know how, right? Oh, well, we're a chemist, so you'd expect us to. By the way, the mayor probably told you an accident in the past killed off many of our native plants. If only people from the capital worked responsibly, tragedies like that wouldn't happen. Oops, me and my big mouth. Once you're done, head back to my cottage. I'll see you there. Taking it back to his cottage then and his uh, doting wife. Right. So, foraging. Swing your tools at gathering points to forage resources. They're indicated by glowing sparks. Con stamina is consumed as you use tools. Make sure you use the correct tool to gather your resources. You can switch between sickle, hammer, and axe. You can avoid incoming attacks by rolling. Rolling does not cost, uh, consume stamina. You will have to catch your breath after successive rolls. Ta -da. Okay, and what else do we want? Ooh, might as well just grab a bunch of stuff while we're out here. Just glad it didn't crush, uh, crush the slime, that. I'm just going to do like the general sort of survival crafting game thing of just if it ain't nailed down. Well, I guess in the, in this case most of this is actually, you know, attached to the ground. But still, I'm just going to rip everything up. Just gather everything. So what's that? Basil. Okay. More basil. And even more basil. What is that back there? I want to get a good look at it. Oh, 
We're good in tools. We'll encounter resources that require better foraging tools. Your tools will be slightly inefficient and require you to spend more effort to gather materials. Each of your tools can be upgraded at Hearts and Sparks. With more powerful tools, it's easier to gather better materials. Oh wow, yeah. What's this? Path closed due to a landslide. Oh. Uh oh, bear. So that's the first hostile creature we've found. It says right trigger for dog. Dog is hungry. <laughs> we've got the days we need jasmine. We need some jazzy jasmine. But where from? Ow! I accidentally hit you. But you deliberately hit me. You git. Right, um. Stamina is getting a little bit low. We really need to find that jasmine. I've got no damn clue as to where it could be. You can fast travel to any travel points indicated by this red banner. To do so, you'll need to activate the travel point by interacting with them. Once they're activated, the designated points will be registered on the open world map. Okay. You won't be able to teleport inside buildings. Gotcha. Right. So, still needing Jasmine. I've been here. Being up this way, haven't we? So, where or where? Maybe it's up there. But not being up this path. Uh oh. Run. Run away! Ah, there's the fast travel thing. Do I just... Right, where's the range post? Myers, Bolt and Build, Town Hall. There it is, range post. So it's just around here. Yeah, it's in the right time. Did you find everything I asked for? Yes. Good job, I have to admit it, I'm surprised. Now that you've completed your first task, I've got a new one for you. Right, find it, so he'll be waiting for you at the town hall. You know where it is, right? Uh, yes, it is in that place there. Right? <laughs> I'll have to check my map in a moment. Right. Don't keep him waiting. Okay. 
first task is complete. And we've got some money. Right. Well. We're here at the Ranger Coast. And I think it's the... Probably the large building. In the centre. Most likely. Right. So. Let's have a look. Big exclamation mark next to it. There we go. Town Hall. So back over the bridge. It's on the map. Let's go up here first though. I do hope soon that we find some food for the dog because it's constantly warning me above that there's uh, a dog's hungry and yet I can't currently feed him. Hmm. Right, is this going to go into a cutscene as well? Between 8 and... Close, opens... Close some... Oh, have we just... No, it's, we're in time, right? Should be. Should be on time. You're here. So you pass your first test with flying colours. Lovely. Looks like I'll have to raise my expectations a little. He expected us to fail that. <laughs> I'll introduce you to Runeheart. Not to be confused with Runescape. So you're the chemist. Yep. Ask him to repair the cauldron in your house. Let's head over there together now. So this is a rusty old thing that needs a fix up. That's right, could you do it? Piece of cake. Right. That's me done. Take care. Right, let's make some potions. I'm sure that won't won't be a problem, you're a chemist after all, right? If you need more materials, you'll find plenty of resources around Meadow Range. Well, you know, there's bears there as well. Once you're done, meet me at the town hall. Now if you'll excuse me. And he's gone. Craft Neutralizing Herbal Balm and Wound Cleanser. Cauldron is the main tool you'll use to brew potions. To start creating, you'll need a potion recipe. You can also upgrade your cauldron to increase its capacities. So we need one of these. Each potion has a different puzzle shape that must be filled in. Mix and match the puzzle pieces uh, using the materials available to you. Placing puzzle pieces that do not fit the required shape is not allowed. Uh, some portions have restrictions on the ingredients you can use. Follow the instructions carefully to start brewing. The circle frame next to the cauldron indicates the maximum quantity of materials you can use. If you exceed the maximum, you won't be able to start brewing. Okay. Um, So, okay, fire, water, wind, earth. Can 
time water these. It wouldn't appear so. Too bad. Neutralizing herbal balm. Right. And we need a wound cleanser. Okay, we're good. Right. Between eight and uh, five. Oh, that works then. Town Hall, here we come. Are you done? Yep. Well, not bad. I guess, I guess the Medal Medical Association really has sent us a decent chemist this time. We haven't had one round here since the accident. Anyway, I shall put together a report. The Mayor will be pleased. He's expecting a lot from you. That's all for, today. for today. We'll continue tomorrow. Just looking at the street lamps, they've got like little sirens on them or something. You think they've got like air raid sirens or something? Eh? Right. Sleepy time. Da -da 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 Logan, Rue's back. We've taken her to the empty clinic. Uh, to the empty clinic. Yes, the uh, clinic. <laughs> Come quickly, follow me. Maya Logan. Here she is. I hope you'll please check her over. Uh, Matthew. Who is this? What are you doing here? This is the chemist. This is Matthew. Moonbridge's witch doctor. What is the meaning of this? You brought someone over from the capital? Let's discuss this later. You have to explain what happened to Rue. I'm honestly beginning to think that he probably messed up the last chemi chemist that came here. I feel like sabotaged them. We still don't know what's wrong with her. I tried everything I could, but it wasn't enough. Is there anything you can do? Please help her. Now nah, we'll just leave her to die. Be right. <laughs> My neck feels weird. Oh, we're diagnosing a patient. Whenever an unknown symptom appears on the patient's body, you will identify it first through diagnosis. 
Once you've, uh, once you've done this successfully, you will know which disease the patient has. My neck feels weird. The goal of this minigame is to press the button that appears uh, landing on the right button and within the hitbox. You will lose progress bar points if you press the wrong button or press outside the box. Your performance during the minigame will, will affect your patient satisfaction level. Mini games. How is she? Will she be all right? Sunworm symptoms. Yes, that's one of the symptoms, but the disease is far more complicated than we thought. You want to help? I won't let that happen. You shouldn't use any unnatural drugs on Rue. But if it might help my daughter. Please do anything necessary for her sake. Why does that guy just nod and shake his head and things? Everyone else gets to talk, we don't. Rue is still weak. My advice is we should use our traditional methods to find a cure. Using unnatural drugs on the capital might have side effects we're unaware of. But if they cure my daughter, besides, we can only use ingredients available on the island to cure her. That's what you think is best, dear. Do you really believe that? Grr. If you mess this up, you'll pay the price. Do whatever you can for her, please. Need to craft some moon brine. <coughs> Gives not has a house. Moon brine cures sunworm. We are pretty much out of stuff. Hmm. Teleportation. Right. Into little ones, eh? Dog's still hungry. Like, it's still not tutorialized on how to feed the dog. The dog's just not eaten for days now. Right. Uh, there's some kind of alarm going off next to the minimap. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Do you give me ingredients? Ok, 
guess the answer is no. Spores. Oh, I guess oh, they do then. Mushroom, mushroom. Is there anything I can like give him a Still no tutorial on feeding the dog. <laughs> hmm. Be able to make something now, perhaps. <clears throat> Silver badge one. Hmm, apparently this goes further. Oh, there's loads of bears there. Yeah, we don't want to be going that way. They are tough. Probably want a sword or a flamethrower. Right, let's get out of here. Teleport out. I'd like to see if we can get some like renovations done before the game's over. I'd like to see what the actual upgrading and crafting systems are like for getting these facilities up to scratch. I need to go uh, back down. I need to craft the potion first, obviously. More run. that from. Right, um... So I've got a jour uh, journal, didn't I? Bitter tasting sap. A mouth numbing fluid produced by trees. Right, so I need to go and chop trees down to get sap. So we're going to chop trees down. And there's the sap. Lovely stuff. Let's try the big tree. of stamina you won't be able to use any tools and your running speed will be decreased. 
heating consumed wool in your bag will recover stamina. It can also be recovered by sleeping at home or having a bath in the Willow Waters bathhouse. Right. Done. Boop. Moonbine. Treated. Thank you, I can't wait to get back home. Oh, are you feeling better? Yes, I think so. Thank goodness. My little girl, you're finally cured. Do you feel strange at all? Nope. I never felt so good. Thank you, chemist. We are profoundly in your debt. I'm glad to hear that. But you, what exactly was in that bottle? You must have given her some suspicious stuff. There's no way that could have... Uh, no way she could have been cured this fast. Still lying, I see. I'll expose your little scheme. Now, now, we're here to help. Why can't we work together to find a solution? But this kid's from the capital. Have you forgotten what they did to our island? No, but times have changed. After all, I'm the one asking for help. You're just too impatient, Mayor. Where we tried all sorts of methods, but nothing worked. And if change can make everyone's lives better, who am I to refuse it? disappointed in you. My commitment to this community means nothing to you. Feel free to ask this capital lackey for assistance. Just don't come running to me for help. It's alright. He's used to be... Uh, he used to be such a pleasant chap. I'm afraid he seems to have taken a disliking to you. He's a very idealistic person. Mariel? You'd better be off home, uh, and let Rue get some rest. Right. Since I'll be in the clinic for a while, keep uh, keep an eye on her. And I shall send a letter to the Medis uh, Medical Association about your accomplishment. I'm sure they'll be happy to know how things are progressing. Well, I think we're done here. I'll see you again soon. Done. Alright, let's go for a tour around the town as well. What have we got? House, house, clinic, police department, coach house, tavern? Maybe that'll get us some food for the dog. I don't know if it's okay to talk to you right now. Everyone's told me not to. Chemist, right? Show me you're good enough and then we'll speak. Okay, so this place is just closed, basically, for right now. What else have we got? Taylor, Hearts and Sparks, Bulk and Build. 
Um, what else is there? Bathhouse is there. Maybe just head to like the bulk and build there. I'm sure there is a fast travel point around here. I'd expect there to be one next to the, the town hall. So we'll probably have a lot of quests to hand in here, but... Apparently not. Closed, aren't they? Drat. Well, we're basically out of stamina. And the day's more or less done. morning. Some people from the medical association have arrived. They want to discuss something with you. Will you follow me? There you are. I wasn't expecting you to be able to cure the mayor's daughter so, so fast. I must say, we're rather surprised at your achievements. I brought you all here simply, discuss, simply to discuss what's next. I'm aware of that. Will you give us some, a little more explanation? As you're aware, they've successfully cu cured my daughter. But now I've realised that what happened to you could happen to any of my citizens. Our knowledge is very limited. And that's precisely why we need a chemist to assist us with your knowledge. If I'm not asking too much, I would like your permission to have him stay for a while so we can exchange our knowledge and strengthen the bond between Moonbury and the capital. Of course, mate, our association will be glad to assist you. This, co uh, this cooperation could be st a stepping stone for the both of us. Our priority is help in as many places as we can to stay safe and healthy. They can stay, you can stay here for as long as you need. Thank you. I'm, I officially grant my permission for the Medical Association's representative to reside and work in Moonbury. And I as a delegate, uh, as a delegate, Give Logan a, mandate, Logan a mandate to help the citizens of Moonbury. Right. Go and do what you do best. Congratulations. Right. And they're off out of town. Okay. And they're out here. Come on. Get past the pointless dialogue, there we are. Now since we're officially here, I should uh, we should discuss our next steps. I greatly appreciate all the effort you put in for Moon. My wife and I will be forever grateful. I shall need to make some major changes in order to prevent such diseases to uh, taking hold in Moonbury. But as you know, not all of the residents are fond of people like you and the capital. And in order to make changes to healthcare here, we need to start changing people's perspectives. We we'll need to work extra hard to bring them round. Some may be stubborn, but they're good people in, at their hearts. Why don't you introduce yourself around town? I'm sure they'll start to warm to you once they know who you are. Trust reflects how well you are perceived as a chemist in Moonbury. The thumbs up indicates your current position of trust within the community. Having a thumbs down will affect the way 
all the villagers uh, treat you. They won't talk to you, or be able to, and you won't be able to trigger any events around town. You can gain trust points by successfully treating villagers who need help. Failing on treatments will lose you trust points. Right. Well, six thirty AM, six forty. Most of the shops open at about eight. So we can wait. Well, hello. Oh, the chemist. I'm Z. This town is lovely, isn't it? It's better than the capital in every way. That's one. It's a start, I guess. <laughs> well, it's not a Tuesday, so it should be good. Hello. Oh, so you're the chemist. Smaller than I expected. I'm Moonheart. Soon to be legendary blacksmith. And 8 o'clock. Bulk and build. Hi there, how can I help you? Getting bored of that old portion house already? Well, I'm sure I can help make it more comfortable. It'll be nice to fix up that old place. I just need lumber and my payment. That won't be a problem, right? I mean, apparently I've got 51 logs, so... I can probably do a fair bit of the repairs. I'm going to make the kitchen in the portion house to unlock cooking. Cheap long table. Relatively old worthless table made of wood. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm Rena. I'm the carpenter. I wonder if there are carpenters like me in the capital. So what, what did we need for kitchen renovations? 2,000 gold, 275 wood and 325 stone. Apparently we need to fully like hollow out an entire quarry and, ha and lop half the forest down. And then we might be able to afford a new room. <laughs> Right. Open eleven till five. Oh, god damn it! They're all open at different times. I'm sure that's just to annoy. Right, try hearts and sparks, I suppose. But it looks like she's on, you know, brunch break. Open ten while, uh, while nine. Right, well, it's half nine. I know, I've already introduced myself to them. Hello. How can I help you? Manage anything to do, uh, everything to do with community requests. I can assist you by posting uh, them outside the town hall. Yeah, so that counts. So when it goes to ten, are they going to stop eating the sandwich and walk over into the shop? Oh, is it going to happen? Oh. Okay, so they actually follow a schedule and everything. It doesn't just teleport them around. Hey, you need anything? 
This is my place. I know, it's a bit of a mess right now. If you're looking to upgrade your tools, I can take care of that for you. Of course, I'll need you to provide the materials and cover my costs. Right. More effective tools are very expensive, it looks like. I'm going to need a lot of boulders. Anyway, that's two people met. And it's very nearly 11 o'clock, which means we can go to this... Uh, shop over here in a moment and introduce ourselves to them. Right. And... 11 o'clock. Let's go. Oh, I do apologise. I just can't believe it, uh, what I'm seeing. Your appearance is so dull. Well, welcome to my shop. Silky Stitch Tailors. I don't sell whatever fashion is popular in the capital right now, though. You may be wearing the best materials, but that's just no fin but there's just no finesse. So I can buy red for 500. <laughs> okay. Kind of meh. <laughs> Let's see, what else have we got we could visit? Maybe the pub. That problem that's probably got a few people in. Should take me over to ten. Oh, there's a person here. That'll help. Who so? Oh, what's the problem with you then? Nobody seems to like you much. I'm not afraid of you, this is my town. Don't you try anything in my town, you hear? Oh, police officer. I'm Osman, Chief of Police. Remember, I'm watching you. Yes, I'm Yawn. I own the tavern. Come pay us a visit sometime. He teleported. Or oh, is it for a cutscene? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Hey, what are you doing? You're that person from the capital. Welcome to my place. This is a tavern. We serve food and drink. We have some uh, arcade machines downstairs. Feel free to drop by during our uh, opening hours. I'm assuming this is meant to be like a pillar in the middle, but it looks like a pit to hell. Damn, everything's expensive. Hundred odd quid for food. God, it's like you're down London. <laughs> I mean, I say it in jest, but uh, well, inflation. It's getting there. Won't be long till that's true. Now, go to the town hall between eight and uh, one F. So go to one F. So yeah, here we are. Well, one F first floor, but yeah. So you've met all the residents. Well, ten of them. Yeah. Now let's discuss the most important part, shall we? Like making my house not look like crap. You might have seen that some of them aren't welcoming you with open arms. There's a reason. 
In the past, an accident occurred here. It was the fault of a chemist. It did such damage to some parts of the island that our native plants went extinct. In the wake of this, Moonbury banned chemists, especially ones from the capital. Ever since then, Mafio's family have been our only source of healthcare. Everything was going brilliantly. We didn't need chemists to live our lives. Until one day, Rue suddenly fell ill. We tried so many methods, but none of them worked. And that's when I realised it. There are problems we just can't solve by ourselves. Maybe we shouldn't write off a whole group just because of one person. So I brought you in to see if you, a chemist, could in fact cure my daughter. And you did. The citizens still bear the scars of what happened. But I hope you'll understand, uh, you'll come to understand them better and regain their trust. I want to give you this. It's called an approval badge. It gives you permission to explore more of the island, so you can gather more materials. I do apologise if this is all rather foreign to you. It's just one of our regulations. Your success in treating you is proof of your ability as a chemist. And if I can prove that you have other skills, I'd be happy to upgrade your badge to a higher level in the future. I'm looking forward to seeing you contribute to our town. The badge you earned, uh, the badge can be earned as you prove yourself to be a good chemist. With this badge, you'll have access to certain areas around the island. For your material needs, the only person who can promote your badge is the mayor. To prove yourself as a good chemist, you'll be assessed by the medical association. They can give you a, rec a letter of recommendation that will be useful to promote your badge. And I still need to figure out how to feed the dog. Well, we've not used our stamina yet, and the day's still youngish. Also, what's down here? Oh, it just suddenly flipped over, didn't it? Right. I guess we'll go to the restricted area. Oh, what's that? Ooh, iron ore. What's up? Oh, it's nothing. We're just talking about all this. This landslide's been blocking the path for quite some time. We used to forage for materials further down the road, but now our access routes are pretty limited. Clearing it away. You'll be able to travel further and find more materials for your potions, I suppose. If you have supplies, maybe we could help you out. We'll need a few resources and probably a uh, strong fishing net. Why would they... A strong fishing net? How about you find someone in town who can lend us what we need? Oh, 
Well, it's getting on a bit. So I'm probably going to wind it down soon. We might see what's beyond here and then call it for the day. I know, right? What a waste. I agree. Hey. What were we just yakking about? Just talking about the fishing nets we got from the Primrose sale. I'm a loyal customer. I use their nets to haul my heavy blacksmithing materials around. And our police department uses their nets to capture wild animals. They're very sturdy. Too bad their stock is always limited. I get it. It must be difficult to make such high quality nets. If only they could produce more, our lives would be much easier. Are you thinking about getting one? Yes. We'll have to go to the Primrose sale then. I doubt they have any left. Good luck. No, it's down that way, damn it. <laughs> well, we're still close ish. Welcome to a Primrose sale. Oh, it's E, matey. What do you need? A sturdy fishing net. We're all out of stock. Don't give me that look. If you're really after one, ask Ottomar on the first floor. It's him who used to make them. Maybe he's got a spare. The tides favour you. It's a pretty popular, aren't they? Right. Hi, why are you here? You want uh, our steel fishing nets? Many people want uh, our nets. But this is the last one I have, so I can't sell it. Maybe if you can trade for some trade for something. Need more stock for the beach cafe. Running seasoning for tasty corn. Yeah, I've got a list. When you bring me them, I'll give you the last net. Honey, basil. Oh, we just need honey. Where the hell do I get honey from? <laughs> Can I buy their honey? No. Ooh. I think I know what I need. Where would honey be? Pet honey bee. Yeah, where would I find it? 
Or what would hang out near honey? Bears. Where have I spotted bears? Well, <laughs> exactly. Or maybe I have to kill the bears to get it. Gone, bear. Honey and a bear claw. I need three. Kill a bear. Kill a bear. Kill a bear. Kill the bear. It kind of just stands there and takes it. It's a bit, a bit weird. Anyway. That's two bears. And bear number three. Gather some resources while I'm at it. My dog definitely wants stuff, and it's still not giving me any kind of tutorial on dog management. <laughs> Don't worry, I've just left her in there on her own for a day. It'll be right. Hey! What do you think of uh, uh, how the new building looks? Isn't it great? You're going to help me to install some important stuff. Oh! It's slightly less crappy, maybe? You hear that, right? It'll sound whenever one of your residents, uh, whenever one of our residents falls ill and is brought here. That way, you'll be notified when you have a new patient. Hi there, chemist. I hope you like my handiwork. I reckon I'm all done here. Time for me to go. Thanks for your help, Raina. Any time, Mayor. How wonderful that you have a suitable space for your patients to recuperate in. I shall tell everyone to come here whenever they fall ill from now on. Please do treat everyone with the utmost care. I trust you, don't let me down. If you fail, well, we're all one big family here. If you hurt one of us, you hurt all of us. Time for me to take my leave. Have a good day. Clinic unlocked. You can upgrade your clinic at the Bulk and Build. Each upgrade will serve to 
uh, benefit you and your patients. It's slightly less crappy. Woo! See them. Oh, we can turn this on. Lovely. Can we get our net? Open at ten while six. It is currently seven. Damn. Oh, I might as well get some ingredients. Just while I'm waiting, eh? Since I can literally just fast travel right to them. So far, so not bad. A lot of... Uh, ex uh, exhibition and not loads happening. It's a very slow game. I'd expect it though for the type of game it is. Um, might be a nice game to chill out to, but I would appreciate if things just happened a bit faster. You know? I feel like I'm still in the tutorial at this point, and we're a good hour, 15 minutes in. Just about. Um, you know, it could just go at a faster pace, is all. Right. What do we have over here then? Nine o'clock. Actually, I don't. I don't even need to go to the shop, do I? I can just talk to him. I think. We don't like you. I'm busy. I need to work. Quest. You've got all the items, yay! Let's go back to Ottomar's place. There it is. Here, the fishing net is yours. But we are happy with it. How did he get down here before me? Magic. Fine, steel fishing net, money. All the money. Logs and rocks. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. We've gone quite far, we've done a few quests. And now it looks like it'll just be a grind to get through to that part. So, it's like, hey, go and play the game for another couple of hours or something. So, thank you very much for watching. I think that's going to do it for now. Uh, if it looks like your sort of game, you can find it in the Steam Next Fest. It's a playable demo. So it's Potion Permit. You can see the title there. Um, not bad. I, I was hoping for it to be a bit like uh, 
I think it is called Moonlighter, where it's like you run a shop, uh, but you provide the, uh, you provide all the uh, inventory via going into dungeons and things. It's pretty cool. Uh, really liked that game. Wouldn't mind like a more robust, feature-rich version of something similar to that nowadays. But uh, hoping to find it in this. It seems okay, but it's more about you know the town and quests and doing little chores rather than it is about you know uh, going out adventuring, getting loads of cool stuff, bringing it back, and then just using it to become rich. <laughs> so. I don't think it was quite what I was expecting. I think it's more in the sort of Stardew Valley sort of vein of things. Um, but if you're into those sort of games, it might be right up your street. If not, then... Well, you can always give it a try, though. Again, on the Steam Next Fest. That's going to do it for this episode. More games coming up in uh, future videos. I'll be covering a few more in the Steam Next Fest. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.